Red zone, red zone! You got my back, I got your back. Communicate! Make some noise! Let's go, Mayday! Enjoy the moment, baby, let's go, enjoy the moment. Hey, hey, welcome back to another week of Krem 2 Football Friday. Idaho is in the first round of playoffs while Washington is in their last week of the regular season. Yeah, well, so we got a lot to unfold tonight. Let's not waste much time. Let's get started with it all. Yeah, and let's start off with our game of the week. Mead taking on Mount Spokane in the Battle of the Bell. Pick this up in the second half. Mead trailing by four. Colby Danielson is looking for a receiver. He's going to throw it, but he's picked off in the red zone by Jackson Hale. That kept the Wildcats' lead intact. On to the fourth quarter now. Mount Spokane would extend that lead. And it's that man again, Jackson Hale, <laughs> with away. the rushing touchdown this time to put the Wildcats up 20 to 10. Last gaffes for, for Meade here. Danielson's fourth down pass. We got a tip drill. Oh, oh. It is picked off on the ricochet by Bradley Runge, and that would seal this one. Mount Spokane wins the Battle of the Bell 20 to 10 and wins the outright GSL League Championship. Big congrats to Coach Clower and the Wildcats. Good for them. Lewis and Clark went across town tonight to Gonzaga Prep. First Bull Pups possession. What in the world is this, Travis? <laughs> We've got a passing touchdown by T Powell, Prep. They're throwing. JoJo Short <laughs> held a bow how for the sweet diving touchdown grab. That puts G Prep up. 7-0. Following a Ryan Jackson interception, it's our guy, Lilo, Lilo. Michele with the rushing touchdown. That put the Bullpups up 14-zip. Lewis and Clark would fight back in the first half. Gens Hilburn takes the handoff, and he is going to get in for the touchdown. Check out these sweet dance moves right oh. here. Hey, oh. hey, hey, hey. He hit it right oh. there. Very nice. That made it a 14-6 game, but too much Gonzaga prep in this game. That would be Noah Holman with the rushing touchdown. Gonzaga prep rolls in this one, 56-20. to Playoffs. We're talking playoffs, playoffs. in Idaho. Lewiston, the two-seed, hosting 11 seeded Middleton. Lewiston would be the first to strike tonight. Jackson Lathan from 35 yards out says deuces bangles up seven zip but here comes Middleton Decker Hagler scrambling gonna eventually find Cole Holman he takes a shot here too what a throw that ties the game up at seven to the fourth we go still same score it's Holman this time fighting in on the run Middleton up 14-7 oh, game comes down to Bengals needing a miracle with two seconds left and 25 yards out Hottinger Trying his best to find someone open there in position here. Sends up a prayer, but it winds up getting knocked down. Oh. Middleton stuns Lewiston, 14-7. The Bengals season comes to an end. Up uh, next, it's that time, guys. A special guest from Up with Krim. He does the morning, he does weather, he also does late night shows. He can do it all. <laughs> Thomas Patrick, he was out in Sandpoint as they took on Skyview. What's up, Thomas? Hey, guys, there is no stopping me. I don't care if I've been here since 4 o'clock this morning. We got playoff football in Idaho, baby. And I was up in Sandpoint to the beautiful Lakeside War Memorial Field Bulldogs oh, Hoss. Let's shot. kick things oh, off. In the first quarter, that's QB, Parker Pettit. Oh, he's going to keep it himself. Make a cut, and he finds the pay dirt. That is a seven-point lead for the dog. Second quarter, how about this easy little check down? It's going to be over to the left here. That's Max Frank. Look at this. He's just such a smart player, just following his blockers, and he will find the end zone. Dogs up 14. Frank put in the work. Beat my man, the rock, guys. That is an Easy 11-yard score. Same point, they win by a bunch, guys. 63-35 the final. Talk about a statement win. Thanks for that, T-Path. Yeah, thank you for having me this season, guys. Of course, you. we loved you. Thanks we love having your you every help, time. Thomas. Hey, last Idaho playoff game we have on the night. 11 seeded Timberlake on the road visiting the reigning 3A champs. Six seeded Weezer Wolverines, the first to strike. Brock Spencer caps off a long, tee, long drive there to take the early lead with the TD. Timberlake answers right back though. Vaughn Higgins, he's gonna wind up punching it in here. Tigers take the lead right here, seven six after a missed Weezer extra point. This game would go down to the final wire, final seconds, I should say. Tie game here with less than 30 seconds before half though. Weezer's Andrew, Andrew Enders takes off and 
shakes and bakes his way to six. Close ball game, but the score right before half is the difference maker that you just saw there. Timberlake is out of the playoffs. They lose 24-27. Don't go away just yet. We have a full slate of games to get to on the other Plus, side. Plus, play of the week is back. Find out who made the cut. Was it one of these? More than likely we'll see. to be seen. <laughs> Stick around. You'll find out. It's time for our Coached Up segment where we mic up a local coach during the game. Yeah, this week we got a chance to mic up Central Valley head coach Ryan Butner as his team takes on University High. Check it out. All right. Let's go get it. Let's go, baby. Come on. Hey, remember, embrace this opportunity right now. This is great. Rivalry game doesn't come very often, right? Yeah, have some fun tonight. Play for the guys that played before you. Right, but let's set the tone right now. We're going to go deep left, avoid left on this, okay? Avoid collision. Avoid collision. Let's get that sucker in the end zone and start him off deep. Okay, here we go. Bear pride. One, two, three. Bear pride. Go, go, boys. Avoid. Stay home. Stay home. Look for any reverse, right? Let's go, boys. Pad level. Pad level. Hey, nothing cheap. Nothing cheap. Don't jump. One more. That's us. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, let's go. He's got him. He's got him. He's got him. Touchdown. Touchdown. Yeah! Nice. Great job. Good answer. Out of boy, honey. All right, Central Valley and U High. Let's pick this game up in the second quarter, tied at seven. Caleb Walcott to his little bro, Peyton. That would give U High a 14-7 lead heading into the half. Third quarter now. Check this out. We got a little trickery. Hey. We got Hudson Dayton with the deep pass to Caden Harkin. CB ties this game up at 14. Fourth quarter now. CB leading 21-20. And guess who? It's one of the Walcott boys. It's Caleb with the rushing touchdown to give you high the lead with 11.57 to go. Walcott would punch in one more rushing touchdown in this game. You high wins it 32 to 21. The rivalry win. How about you high getting hot at the end of the season here? Let's keep things rolling with Pullman at West Valley. West Valley win in the playoffs. If Pullman wins, their playoff hope still live. Depends on a couple games tonight. Second quarter, Rashawn Eaton says, I can throw the ball over them there mountains. <laughs> Finds Grady Walker for the big game. You know what they say about Eaton, man? What did they say? He's going to keep eating. Finishes oh. off the touchdown run. Eagles up 21-10 at half. Third quarter, West Valley in the red zone, and it's the Eaton-Walker combo connecting. Oh I'll tell you what, this hey. Walker kid can play. I've seen him a couple times this season. West Valley is in the playoffs with this win, 41-24. Eaton 8. Eaton hates. <laughs> there we go. Shadow Park out at East Valley. Highlanders already in the playoffs. It was the Beckett Insminger show tonight. Where's the ball? Who's that cameraman? Fire him. <laughs> that might have been me. Um, Insminger slicing and dicing the Knights and Woo! finds his way to the end zone here. Zigzagging. Watch this little oh. fights and spins. How about that? That was a second touchdown on the night. Next Shadow possession. Andrew, he told me to call him Trey. So we're Trey Dickerson. Funny who else? It's Insminger. His there third TD of the night. Shadow Park. Up 21 zip in the first, and the Highlanders would keep the pedal to the metal. Shadow Park shuts out East Valley 49 0. Riverside visiting Lakeside tonight. Slow start to this game, but when the Eagles got going, boy, they were flying. Let's get right to the second half. Cole Hunziker with a play of the week candidate right here. He finds Sada Hero Patterson oh! with the jumping catch. He gets past his defender. See you later. He gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Lakeside up. 20 to 3. The Eags would continue to dish out some more punishment. Hunsaker to Calvin Mickelson in the corner of the end zone. Showing a little love to the camera right yep, there. Love it. Eagles with the comfortable lead after the two point conversion. Lakeside with another play of the week candidate. Hunsaker oh, to Mickelson with goodness. the pitch. And Mickelson, he's taking that all the way to the house. Lakeside soars to a dominant win over the Rams tonight, 35-10. And finishes and their season undefeated. There you go. Yeah. And hey, it's our favorite it part of the sure show, is. Travis. It's, it's time for Play of the Week. And as always, a good one. We you already know. Tonight. The Zinger.
you just saw from Lakeside's Cole Hunsker. This is our play of the week. There Finding Sada Hero Patterson. Get up, Sada Hero. I can be oh your Sada Hero, goodness. baby. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. How about that play? That's a good one. That was a doozy. We've had a lot of good ones this season with good catches. Pretty Hands nice. out here. She's yeah. basketball player. Hey, and I mean, what a, what a job by Lakeside yeah. this year, huh? Undefeated? Undefeated for them. Hey, moving on. If you watched our show last week, you saw an all-time coached up segment with Bonners Ferries, Travis Hinthorne. If you missed it, here's a little recap. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Come on! Uh -huh. Oh! Holy yeah. shikes! I had to watch myself on the mic on that one. Wow. What a catch. I would have cussed if I cast if I wasn't mic'd. <laughs> yeah, Snikes, that was a great catch. And that was also a great catch from you, Coach Inthorn. <laughs> The Badgers went on to win and complete an undefeated regular season. And check this out. They made a t-shirt to celebrate the season with holy shnikes written Woo! on it with Coach Hinthorne's beard on the Badgers. We love it. Thanks for letting us mic you up, Coach. And thanks for joining us. I'll see you long.